Hi guys and welcome to today's video which will be a weigh-in video. We have Mr Drogo here. Side note about Drogo, not a lot of people know this it seems but Drogo is actually a Chahua. I think a lot of people think he's either a gargoyle or a lychee but he is a Chahua, also known as a mossy prehensile tailed gecko. Now before we do the weigh-in video I actually did want to talk to you guys about something and kind of wanted your opinion on it. So basically these weigh-in videos I have been doing since 2016. It is kind of just normal for me to weigh my geckos, also write down every time I fed them. This might sound super weird but I actually have like documents of feeding my geckos all the way back to 2006 when I first got Gizmo. I mean I should throw this stuff away but I just have it everywhere. Anyway, um, so basically even though I do weigh my geckos anyway, since 2016 I have been doing these weighing videos and I'm sort of encouraging people to also weigh their geckos. I think it's kind of healthy practice, it's good to know what their weight is like and if they're doing well and you can pick up early on things if they're suddenly like losing weight. Anyway, um, it has come apparent that maybe these aren't the most popular videos and I think on YouTube it's important to sort of move with the times and personally I do love updating you guys but I just feel like because not many people are watching as much anymore I feel like a lot of people are missing out on the information I'm saying anyway and for me just editing them is getting a little bit tedious because it's the same sort of thing so I was thinking come January 2019 I'm actually going to probably stop doing these so the last one will be in December but I do want to replace it with maybe something we could do like as a monthly update and maybe if you like I can just mention their weights in it but I want to do something different so if you have any ideas of something like maybe a monthly update or just another kind of video maybe every month I do a Q&A and I also update you guys on their weight just casually not actually you seeing me weigh them out but just be like oh by the way they're doing this and that I don't know if you think that'll be good or you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments down below it really does help uh, before we start weighing them i would also like to give a big shout out to my patrons patrons of this channel including laura nathan connor kathy tobias max Sophie, Tracy, Kim, Jezebel, Emily, Karen, Jeff and Tanner and also we're going to start doing patrons of the day as it were and today's is Ingrid so basically if you've been a patron for a year depending on your tier you'll have a shout out and today's one is Ingrid and I will leave her Instagram handles below if you want to check her out but thank you so much to Ingrid for supporting this channel for an entire year oh what are, what are you doing? <laughs> this yeah so anyway let's uh, thank you for sitting through my rambling um let's go and weigh the geckos so first we have drogo not much has happened with him apart from obviously i built gizmo's tank i sort of redid that and i had to get his tank down and we gave him some new branches which he's using all the time like if you follow me on instagram um he he loves it like every night i'll come up and he's sat on one it's really cute anyway last month he was 51 grams which i believe is the heaviest he's been so let's pop him in here and he's 52 grams pretty good next we have mini now with the leopard geckos i feel in autumn it is like bulking season for them so i was going to do a video of this like geckos during each season because I've observed them for many years but I find that in summer obviously the females will ovulate they may go off food and when it comes to the end of summer and autumn they will eat everything and they will almost like bulk up for winter then winter comes and they don't eat as much they don't do as much but they retain that weight really well so I find these months to be very important to make sure your gecko is eating and putting on that weight now last month Mini was 52 grams, which is weird because that is literally the same weight as Drogo and you wouldn't think they even look alike. You'd think Drogo is much smaller. But anyway, let's see if she has put on some more weight. Wow. She is now 57. So yeah, bulking season, definitely. I know she's eaten a lot, but she's also retaining it really, really well. So I'm very happy with that. Next we have Gizmo. And I actually just found Gizmo in a cold hide, so she's really cold now, so she's probably warming up on my hand. But last month she was 60 grams and this month she's 59 so she has gone down which is a little unusual but equally she has been moved out to a temporary home for a while and then she was moved into a new home and these things can affect 
sort of their weight and their appetite a little bit so not overly concerned next we have diego now diego has been incredibly secretive this month and actually ever since i did his new tank he has this hide and you may have seen it in a video i did uh this month where he <laughs> He will just hide in it and it's completely dark and he obviously really likes it But it means I don't see him so much. So that sucks um, But anyway last month he was 99 grams. I Think he definitely could make a hundred there was a picture once again posted on Instagram of him and everyone was freaking out Because he looked massive and I don't know if he is he is quite a big gecko and if we just zoom out a little bit So yeah, as you can see he is quite a hefty gecko but I do have small hands, so I do wonder if that just makes him look bigger. But even still, he's easily maybe 10 inches long, maybe a bit bigger. And he's a chunky guy. So anyway, let's see how much he weighs. He's hit 100. He's 100 grams. So there you go, Diego. I'm very happy, as I said, going into winter. It's nice to have a good high weight like that. And he's not, he's not overweight. That is a real issue with reptiles, being obese and lazy and not doing anything. You can see he's got some really great muscle tone on him. And he is just who he is. He's just a big guy. <laughs> Next we have Lyra. Now if you've been wanting more Crested Gecko videos, there will be one coming in November. Maybe even more. We shall see. Um, there was some more that featured Lyra this month. So if you haven't seen them, make sure you do. In the last Wayne video, actually, you may have seen her lay two eggs and with those eggs they were definitely infertile she's never been bred with or anything and I checked and checked but I did put them back into her tank because I figured what's the point of me taking these out she might still be looking for her eggs because the next day after laying them she did seem to be trying to look at like where she laid them to check on the eggs I don't know but um I put them back in and as I expected, they did well for quite a while, but they're infertile, so they were going to break down anyway. And the cleanup crew are actually now breaking them down. I think they're now hollow, but they're using the calcium from the eggs to benefit themselves. So I think it's a circle of life, really. But once again, they were definitely infertile, so don't worry about that. So because she laid these eggs, she went from like 46 grams to 40. So let's see. So let's see if she has gained that weight back a bit. I'd say probably like 42 maybe, maybe. What, what, are, you, what are you doing, Lyra? Oh, wow, she is 46. Wow, it's literally taking her that month to just bounce back. That's actually fantastic. I'm really happy with that. I had to persuade her out of her cave with a waxworm cocoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it actually looks like she's starting to shed. When I felt under her chest, it felt crispy. So she looks a little bit off here, but it's because she's going to shed. Now, Ziggy is a very bulky girl. I don't know if you can see, like, her tail is massive. She looks fantastic. And actually, this month, she turned five years old. And what I find really interesting is... She hatched out on the 10th of October, 2012. I started my channel on the 15th of October, 2012. And I believe, I think I have the thing here. I got her on the 3rd of November, 2012. So very early on in my channel, I got Ziggy. And you can actually see when I first got Ziggy, she was teeny tiny. But it's just so weird that literally she hatched out five days before I started this channel. And she is a such a big part of it. Also really random, but this month she also got a new spot. And I have known that sort of, sort of like leopard geckos still develop new little spots here and there. But this one's right on her eyelid. It's really weird. It literally just appeared after a shed. Um, and as far as I can tell, it's not a bite or anything. It's literally just part of her pattern now. She had another spot that just randomly appeared on her tail a few years back. And it's just become part of her pattern. So I think she's still springing out new spots here and there. Anyway... Uh, let me just find her paper. So last month she was 75 grams. Maybe I'm going to be optimistic here, but I'm hoping for 80. So we shall see. Next day. Oh, she's 79. So close. But I do think she looks fantastic. She's doing really well and she's about to shed. And now she's five years old. You're my little baby leopard gecko. <laughs> anyway I hope you have enjoyed today's video once again I really appreciate your feedback in this whole situation whether I should continue this or do something different and if I do something different what do you think anyway thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe but thank you and goodbye